Now I ask the all delegations that we adopt this treaty text. It is adopted. The gavel came down today on June 27, 2013, ending over four years of intense negotiations on an international treaty that promises to boost access to published works by the world's blind, visually impaired, and print disabled. The historic agreement was met with a standing ovation from the over 600 delegates that gathered in Marrakesh at the invitation of the Kingdom of the Government of Morocco to finalize these historic negotiations. It's a miracle. What happened here in Marrakesh represents uh, a hope for the blind community, for the international community, that we are giving a human face to the globalization. Clearly, the spirit of Marrakesh, the Baraka of Marrakesh, helps us. It's a victory for multilateralism. It's a victory for the world, not only for the blind community, for the international community, that we are succeeding in giving something so good for the world. It's a wonderful achievement, I think, for the international community. Uh, there were a lot, there was a diversity of interests that come into play when one considers how to facilitate this access. There, there are those of the publishers, there are those of the visually impaired, of course. And I think what's remarkable uh, in the statements that have been made by many, many delegations is that there is a widespread view that the treaty has achieved a very fair balance between these various interests that converge on this subject. Uh, and it's a treaty which will make a difference, which will have a concrete uh, and specific impact and will contribute, we think, to reducing the book famine uh, from which visually impaired persons have suffered for too long. Today is the birth date of Helen Keller. So Helen Keller is known to everyone around the world, her uh, legacy she left for persons who are deaf blind particularly, but to adopt a treaty on this day is a very special thing for us all.